Use and development of nanotechnology by the U.S. military. Ethical or no? There is debate about whether it is right or wrong to develop nanotechnology, and more specifically, whether or not the United States military should use and develop such technology, intending to use it for weapons of war. This is something everyone must decide for themselves. What is nanotechnology? You see, nanotechnology is a branch of engineering that deals with the design and manufacture of extremely small electronic and mechanical devices or any technology on the scale of nanometers, which is one billionth of a meter. One billionth of a meter? Wow, that's small. All major global powers are expanding their efforts to research and develop nanotechnology for military use. The United States in particular boasted struggles to maintain their superiority in nanotechnological weapons of war. The main areas of U.S. nanotechnology research deal with explosive medicine, biological and chemical sensors, electronics, power generation and storage, materials for ground, air, and naval vehicles, coatings, filters, and fabrics. Who uses nanotechnology? Ordinary people, just like you or I, use nanotechnology. Magnetic materials are already reducing vibration in engines and other commercial use will come later in stronger materials and devices. Soon, nanotechnology-based uniforms may also protect law enforcement officers, firefighters, and other emergency responders as well. However, the U.S. government is very interested in developing nanotechnology to use on the battlefield as its main strategy. The U.S. Department of Defense is a major investor in the development of nanotechnology, spending well over 30% of all federal dollars. In 2005, $252 million spent on nanotechnology, $1 million went towards research dealing with potential health and environmental risk. Nanotechnology, good or bad? There are possible benefits from the development of nanotechnology, such as building engines from recycled garbage, repairing our bodies microscopically with nanomachines, improving product manufacture, medicine, disease treatment, and helping the environment with toxin cleanup. Unfortunately, the many positives that nanotechnology can offer are overshadowed by the reality that it is being used for dangerous ends such as creating weapons and explosives. Consider this future weapon as an example. Who has to eat or sleep. Who never experiences fear. And never complains. Who is three feet tall, has four eyes, and can see in the dark. And who's so attached to his weapon that it takes a screwdriver and a pair of pliers to take it from him. The sword adds a new dimension to urban conflict. It's the world's first weaponized robot, and it can be armed with everything from a machine gun to a rocket launcher. We've shot rockets off of the system before. We've shot 40 millimeter grenades off the system already. Anything that can be shot by a human can be shot by the system. Other potential dangers include spying or the gray goose scenario, which would be the creation of a super nano weapon with the ability to disassemble any and every molecule it encountered. Imagine being reduced to particles in seconds by something that looks like gray silly putty. Scary, huh? Currently, nanotechnology research is mostly funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and the National Science Foundation. So research is primarily controlled by the government, who wants to use it to create dangerous weapons. International laws have yet to really be made regarding safe development of nanotechnology, and even then it is doubtful it would be possible to enforce such laws. The abuse of nanotechnology could also lead to the government spying on us without our knowledge or provision, giving them cause to arrest us at any time. Nanotechnology affects everyone. Psst! Pass it on! Weapons are an obvious negative potential for nanotechnology. Expanding the weapons of today by miniaturizing guns, explosives, and electronic components of missiles will be deadly. Being informed is the best way to combat harmful use of nanotechnology. Continue to research nanotechnology and be aware of what new technology is being created. Tell others as well. Together we can help stop the creation of nano weapons for war and spying. Without question